Hey everyone, Toby from AbletonDrama.com here. Quick update on the SPDSX button to chain selector. What a long name for a Max for Life device. So what does it do? If you don't know the version one, um, you can see on the screen here, I'm just um, using my plus and minus buttons from the SPDSX and it will use this chaining technique. So if you have different sounds in here, you can select the different chains. Uh, let's have a look on the chain selector here to make this really obvious. You can select the different chains via your plus and minus buttons and the numbers will match up with, with your kids on your SPDS X. So it's a great device, but if you're using a lot of uh, sound files and maybe some VSTs even or whatever um, It could get quite heavy because they are all turned on So if you have let's say hundred drum racks in one track all chained, you know uh, It could get a little heavy on your RAM and on your CPU. So what I did was I uh, made a version 2 so um, there are there is this possibility to set on the auto switch here so now not only the chain will um, change according to the kit you selected you will switch on and off the devices in the selected chain so for example we are on chain one here now so let's hide this one and you can see it's turned off so but if i'm going to a scene ah, i have the auto view select button on here so let's stay on one scene let's stay on uh, chain let's say on chain one so you can see it's turned off, but as soon as I'm coming to chain number one, all the devices in this chain will be activated. So chain number two, all the devices you can see that here are being turned off. If you're going back to one, all the devices are turned on. So if you go to kit number two and select chain number two via the buttons, let's press plus, not minus. You can see they are turned on automatically. So um, there are a few things you need to um, keep in mind when you're using this device. So first of all, you have an Ableton 10, Ableton 11 switch. So you can see if it's on Ableton 10, the chain selector isn't moving here. Okay, so make sure to have the right selection um, done here so you have an all on switch so if you want for some cases to have all devices on and all chains you can see this now I just put the pitch devices in front of it just to have something there so um, all the devices in this chain um, will be turned on or off and if you press all on all devices of the whole instrument rack where you have your nested drum racks in there will be turned on on okay cool so you have the auto switch which is the new function and you can have this turned off so if you want to have all on you can now cycle through the kits you know and everything will stay on if you want this to be um, only the selected chain have their devices on you have the auto switch on you set it to on and you can see where are we we are in a different chain here but you can see it's now turning it on and off okay so one more important thing um, same as version one it needs to be the device needs to be sitting right in front of your instrument rack that's really important and you need to press refresh every time you are adding a new device so let's just do this so I added this one pitch device here and you can see everything is turning on but not this device here which is a new device so you need to press refresh every time you're changing stuff here and now you can see done you know so um, the refresh stuff will happen automatically when you load the the Ableton live set so if you um, just add stuff while you're well while you have the Ableton live set open you need to press refresh but then you're done you know okay you open just uh, the Ableton live set and everything will be mapped cool have fun with the device and um, there's a link where to get the version 1 and version 2